Guys, we are in the field. We brought you down here in the winter, so I thought we would show you what it's like in the summertime. So I'm gonna grade the laneway. <laughs> yeah. I came to the barn for chores and I heard water spraying in the robot room. Guys, we are in the fields. What have we got going on? Well, we're prepping a bean field and a corn field. And on this farm, we got a lot of stones. So um, we have a rock picker out here, a mechanical one. So we're not picking them by hand. I got my nephew picking with uh, the skid steer and a stone fork. And then in the really bad spots, we got a guy in um, with yeah, a mechanical stone picker behind a tractor. And uh, not everybody sees these machines. If you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of stones, you wouldn't see this. Uh, so come check it out. We'll show you what it's like. How'd it go? What? How'd it go? Good. Yeah? Good. You got a few? Yeah. Great. Did you get all the way over? No? I'm close though. Okay. We'll finish it. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Have fun at baseball. Yeah, have fun, eh? So that was our nephew, Bryson. He's got to go to baseball, so... Well, how long was he picking? An hour? Yeah, an hour and a half. An hour and a half, but that's super helpful. He did some rock picking for us last year too, right? Yeah, and he's coming back tomorrow. Perfect. So there's a big rock there that we've had to pick before the rock picker came because it's too big for it. But there's a lot of fields like this, and, or a lot of rocks like this. We had to pick before the rock picker came. The big ones that the rock picker can't handle. And you can see the rivers down there, so this is just a really rocky area. So here's Steven in the dump trailer. He rides along with the mechanical rock picker and waits till it's full, and then the guy in the rock picker dumps it into the dump wagon and then he goes and dumps it along the river. So the rock picker's got two 10-foot wings on the front of it that come out and they're kind of like rakes. They got all these tines or teeth on a big shaft that rotates and it's kind of like an auger and it funnels, it rakes through the soil, through the topsoil and funnels all the rocks to the center of the machine and then there's something that turns in the center of the machine and it pulls up the windrow of rocks and then it collects it in a basket and then when he's full, like he is right now, then Steven pulls up with the dump trailer and he dumps it in and then the guy carries on with the rock picking.
up the kids as they were riding with Steven in the tractor. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. You guys in the back. You had fun, Eli? So this spot here is a spot that he went around because it's too wet, didn't want to get stuck. And you can see all the rocks in there. So then after he's passed through, it's smooth and not a lot of rocks. Well, we brought you down to the river in the winter. I think that was I think that was the very first video I posted on YouTube. We brought you down here in the winter, so I thought we would show you what it's like in the summertime. The kids and I have come down to the river with the dog, Piper, and it's actually not that cold. It's pretty warm, considering maybe a tube ride in the near future. So there's the barn up there, and you can come down this tractor laneway we've made. Cool, bud. And it goes across the river. What do you think of the water, Piper? What do you think? You gonna come back in? Come on, Piper. Come on. So if you cross the river and go up that trail over there, there's a sand pit where we got all the sand for when we built the barn. It's not clean sand, so we can't use it for the stalls. It would get way too hard and clumpy but it was good for that purpose of the barn build. Come here, come here. Good girl. Good girl, ah! Good girl. That's a cool one. Cross the river, right guys? Yeah. yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Now Piper's on a scent and she does not seem to be coming back. Seeing if Piper will come if she hears the kids screaming in distress and so far she's failing the test. So guys, I'm gonna grade the laneway. I got this laneway grader, uh, renting it from a friend of mine. I don't have a huge laneway, but seem to always get a lot of potholes in it and the grader does an excellent job. I haven't done it for a couple years. So it's time to do it. It's either fill them in, fill the potholes in with gravel or grade it. up to the sand pit on this Sunday afternoon to check it out. Eddie and the older two are down in it already and Kylie and I are going to climb down. Are you scared? Are you scared? Yeah. What do you think? You want to keep going? You want to get down there? Okay. Good dog. You made it. <laughs> I touched to the bottom. 
see the bottom? I'm not sure there is a bottom. Check out these bird holes here. Birds have made their nests in here. We dug this last fall. There's all kinds of bird homes. I didn't know that birds made homes in the sides of sand pits. Eddie did. He knew that. That's how I know that they're bird holes because he I, knew. I only knew that because the neighbor told me. Oh. There's the bench on the side over there too. Sunday night, I came to the barn for chores and I heard water spraying in the robot room. I don't know what the problem is. And he says he knows what the problem is. I ran to get him and he came right away. Got the pressure tank for our booster pump. And the cows are fooling around with it because they can get their heads through there. Oh. And they broke it off. So now I can't use my booster pump. Wow. But it's rusted out already, too. I was going to say, that must have not been brand new. I love spring. I love spring. I love spring. I love spring. Stop looking at my butt. I love spring. I love spring. Quit it. Would ya? Spring. Just got water in the glove. At least this is just tea. Oh, spring. Spring. Some nice fresh feed for you girlies. Hey. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for supporting Dairy. If you liked this video, I encourage you to check out the one on your screen next.